Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. So we are back with yet another Apple Maker Switch review, but today let's all take a look and listen at the Bluebird Linear Switch. This is one of the two linear switches by Apple Maker that they offer. And as you know, Apple Maker is a keyboard vendor and has their own line of keyboards. A quick background on the switches. This is named as well after a bird. I mean, yeah, <laughs> bluebird switches. And same as the Bajrugar, this was inspired by its color. And Apple Maker claims that it'll give you a peaceful and soothing typing experience. So let's see about that. The switches comes in again at $13 for 30 pieces. By the way, the switches was sent for review by Apple Maker, but I wasn't paid to make the video. So of course, I give you guys an honest and unbiased review about the Bluebird switches. I'll go ahead and put all of Apple Maker's links on the description down below. So in today's video, it's going to be the usual, but there will be no stock versus lube comparison as the switches came in pre-factory lube. But there will be a sound test comparison versus other linear switches and of course a short material breakdown. If you all want to hear my thoughts and opinion about the Bluebird switch, please do stick around at the end of the sound test or feel free to check the timestamps. And speaking of sound test, let's do a quick disclaimer before we start that the sound and experience will vary depending on your keyboard build, meaning to say that it will sound and feel different depending on your board. We of course be using the Vega 65 with a polycarbonate plate, a PCB to plate foam and one case foam. The switch just came in pre-factory lube and the keycap that was used was a Domiki set. So with all of that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test on the Apple Maker Bluebird switches.
and that was the sound test for the Bluebird switches. So what do you think about them? Please do let me know on the comment section down below and let's have some quick discussion. And before we head on to my thoughts and opinion about the Bluebird switches, let's go ahead and break down the materials that was used on the switch. As you can see, these are a 5-pin switch and is using an MX style housing with a dustproof stem. So we have polycarbonate for the top housing. And we have nylon for the bottom housing. And then the stems that is made out of palm. And lastly, the springs with a 22 millimeter length and a 60 gram bottom out force. And that was a material breakdown for the Bluebird switches. If you made it up to this point of the video, I'd like to say thank you for staying. And again, reminding you that the sound and experience will vary depending on your keyboard build. So let's now talk about my thoughts and opinion about the switch. Finally, let's now talk about my thoughts on the feel. Now, I was able to showcase this on a local keyboard meetup that we had last week and everyone was surprised when I told them that the switches are pre-factory loop. As you know, pre-factory loop switches tends to be a hit or miss and always inconsistent. But the stock pre-factory loop on these are really, really nice and I can say that they're quite consistent enough and um, same as their tactile switches, I'm really impressed on how good they are and how you can really rely on the pre-factory lube. Basically, it's really good to go out of the box. Now let's talk about the main feel of the switches. The pre-travel on these are quite short, like you can bottom out pretty fast and the bottom out is a bit harsh if you type fast. Although for fatigues, I didn't notice any, but it's just that you can really feel the bottom out and it feels like you want to ask more of a pre-travel. But overall, the feel is really nice, barely notice any scratches, and I didn't feel any crunch on the leaf. It just so happened that for my preference, I find it a bit fast for the pre-travel. Now in terms of the actuation, it's a bit light for 47 gram, but the bottom out force is around 60 gram paired with a 22 mil dual spring for that snappier return. I can say that they are right for the actuation and you can only feel them light when you type on them for a couple of hours but after that, you won't really notice how light it is. I can say that they had a good choice with the 22mm dual spring as the return is somewhat satisfying when typing. Again, as mentioned, the pre-travel on these are quite fast so or quite short, so you can really feel the switches actuating. But nonetheless, they feel really, really smooth out of the box. Now moving on to my thoughts on the sound. Now for the sound, I didn't hear any spring pings and leaf crunch, which is again really good for the pre-factory lube. No scratches can be heard on the switch as well. Same as the feel, they sound really good out of the box. Sound profile on our Vega, it has that in-between of a pop and a deep pitch. So it's not that loud and not that quiet, just in between. But I can say that it has more pop into it due to the 22mm dual springs, making it sound more snappier. I can say that they sound a bit similar to some KTT switches and overall sounds really decent for a linear switch and I'm quite excited to hear what it'll sound once broken in. Overall, I can say that this linear switches from EpoMaker are really impressive but again, my only gripe on these are the pre-travel. It's quite short so some of you may like it or not like it at first. But for the asking price of $13, it's decently good. But I need to call them out on this. I wish that they would offer this in packs of 10 because even though it's only $13, you need to buy 3 boxes in order to complete a 65% build. So of course, 2 boxes wouldn't be enough as it's only gonna be 60 pieces for 65% so you do the math. But I don't know, I just can't really recommend it because $13, that 30 pieces is good, but for you to complete a set of 65%, you'll end up buying 3 boxes, so I don't know. And as much as I like how they sound and feel, 
I just can't really recommend them for beginners right now. But if you are already in the hobby, this is something that you need to check out on your list. But I just wish that Apple Maker would offer this soon in packs of 10. If not, I suggest get one pack first as it's enough for your alphas and modifiers. And if ever you'll end up liking them, you can go from there. And that is it for the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed the review on the Bluebird Switches by Apple Maker. And I hope you find this helpful. If you do, please don't forget to hit the like button as it helps out my channel grow. So what's next? Well, we have one more Apple Maker switch to try, which are the Flamingos and some new Aku switches. So please watch out for that. Again, please don't forget to hit the like button, share if you want, and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next Soundtest. Peace.